Hi, I'm Rachel from Here I Am Cindy. Have you ever thought, if I could only have that one thing, I would be truly happy? But then after you got it, you weren't as happy as you thought you would be. You decided you didn't like it after all, or you wanted something else instead. How exactly can you get that true happiness? Happiness that doesn't fade away, that lasts forever. Does it come from having extra cool clothes, friends, money, or something more? Let's see what the Bible says. Come with me to Psalms 114, verse 15. It says, Happy are the people who are in such a state. Happy are the people whose God is the Lord. This verse says that if you have the Lord in your life, you'll be happy. Satan tries to deceive people into thinking that things will make them happy. They become millionaires, buy everything they ever wanted, travel the world, but true happiness comes from only one thing, accepting and following the Lord. As King David was writing about the Lord, he said in Psalm 1611, You will show me the path of life, in your presence is fullness of joy, and at your right hand are pleasures forevermore. And what is the definition of joy? Joy is great happiness or delight. So we found that true happiness and joy comes from having the Lord. But how do we have the Lord? How do we have his presence, as our last verse said? Here are seven things you can do to have the Lord in your life and experience his happiness. Number one, accept Jesus as your savior. You need to accept Jesus as your personal savior and friend. Number two, pray and study the Bible. You'll become better friends with Jesus and it will show how God led his people in the past. Number three, follow his example. As you study the Bible and become better friends with Jesus, you will see his example and follow it. Four, talk to God and recite his promises. This too will help you and those around you to think about Jesus and become more like him. Number five, go to church and worship God. This strengthens your relationship with the creator of the universe. Number six, remember times when God worked in your life. You'll see how God is faithful and how he works everything for your good. And number seven, work for Jesus and be on fire for him as you fulfill his mission. Jesus says in John 15, 11, These things I have spoken to you, that my joy may remain in you, and that your joy may be full. The happiness from being with Jesus is far better than any earthly thing. Ellen White says in her book, The Adventist Home, page 28, paragraph 1, the presence of Christ alone can make men and women happy. Will you choose to ignore Satan's lies about happiness and follow God so you can receive true happiness and fullness of joy?